Hi again, it's Jason from Fraser Valley Rose Farm. I picked up this Christmas cactus or Schlumbergera at a discount bin at the grocery store. I guess it's past its prime, it's seen better days, but it's gonna be perfect for what I'm trying to do. So I wanna show you how to propagate this. This is kind of an exception to the old rule that usually you can't propagate from the leaves. Well, the leaves of this are sort of like the stems too, if you'll see what I mean. So let's start taking this apart and I'll show you how to propagate it. I've never propagated Christmas cactus by leaf cuttings before, but I've done tons of stem cuttings. So I'm gonna sort of borrow the same technique here and just either cut these or twist these off the end and just stick them straight into potting soil. Now, one variable that I think might be there is the question of whether it's helpful to use rooting hormones. So I have some rooting powder here. This is just 0.3% uh, IBA that I would use on stem cuttings. And on this second row in the tray here, I'm just going to dip them in the rooting hormone before I stick them. Now you can see I was using the scissors here for some of the cuttings and um, I think that that can work just fine. The other way you can do it with these uh, Christmas cactus is just give them a twist like this and it should be able to pop right off the end of the stem. I'm not sure it actually is gonna make a big difference in terms of the success rate. Uh, it just might be a little bit quicker just popping them off the end like that rather than, uh, than using the scissors every time. Let's see how these turn out. And here onto my indoor propagation bench, besides some of the other plants that I've been taking cuttings from, I'm just gonna place this down, give it a little spritz of water. Not sure how sensitive they'll be to that because they are a little bit succulent in terms of our fleshy anyways. And then the other thing that I always do early stages of propagation is I stick them underneath a humidity dome just to keep the moisture levels up during those early stages of rooting. It's been three weeks since I stuck them, and in the meantime, I filled up the whole bench behind them with seedlings and other cuttings. Now let's have a closer look and see what the Christmas cactus has done in the meantime. Pulling up on the sections here, first good sign is that I can feel these things pulling back. They don't pull out so easily. This one comes out and it has a little bit of callus and a little bit of initial rooting on the bottom of it. But other ones here, when I pull on them, they firmly pull back. And if I persist uh, at the risk of breaking off roots here, you can see that it pulls up a section of soil with it. And there we go. We have roots at the base of this cutting and I'll shake off some soil and get you some close-ups of that there. Now just to give you the lowdown on what happened here, this bench was kept at about 21 degrees Celsius which is the uh, equivalent of 70 degrees Fahrenheit and that's coming from bottom heat. So that was the conditions that they were having and it took only about two weeks to get to that initial callousing like you see on this one here. Some are slower, some are faster. Uh, and then another week or so to initiate strong rooting amongst all of them. And this is about the stage where I wanna catch them for transplanting so that they don't get too far into that rooting and I damage them when I do the transplant. Now, one thing I did when I took these uh, cuttings initially is some of them I had with rooting hormone and this center row was with rooting hormone and the outer row here was without rooting hormone and you can see that even has strong rooting i think i saw callusing earlier on the center section with the rooting hormone uh, but the ones on the outside have all caught up here now so it didn't seem to make any difference in fact i would say that Basically, my rate of success was 100%, so you probably wouldn't have to worry about using any rooting hormone on these. And as I pull through here, you can see they're all sort of emerging through those stages of early rooting. Uh, you can see the roots at the very end there, and uh, just starting to get to that point where they're reaching out of the soil and grabbing some soil. Okay, well that should wrap it up fast and easy for that uh, Schlumbergera or Christmas cactus propagation. Some people do ask me about the care of Schlumbergera because one of the things that happens is you put it inside, you grow it as a house plant. It doesn't get that variation in day and night temperature that it kind of needs to initiate flowering. So the key moments here are as the days shorten in the fall, you go into September, you have to lower the nighttime temperatures on this from house temperatures, 21, 22 degrees Celsius. You bring it down to about 16 degrees Celsius, which I believe is somewhere around 62 degrees Fahrenheit 
at that night temperature for something like three weeks, it will start to initiate buds going into the fall. Uh, once those buds have initiated, you can bring the temperature back up, you can bring it back into the main portion of the house and watch it flower and enjoy it flowering and then give it a quick rest period again down to those lower night temperatures in January. Uh, and then in spring, it will resume growth and pop back into fast vegetative growth. So you can repeat the whole flowering cycle again in the fall. I'm be potting these up into small pots and see if I can turn them uh, into something more like the mother plant here and go from there.